Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Land. I have got some equipment on the back of here. This is not mine. We have been asked to complete a contract today. Obviously no contracts actually exist on No Man's Land, so we're doing this one ourselves. The local woodcutter wants two pallets of firewood. He's given us all the equipment, lent us this trailer, and he has told me he will give me 1,000 for completing the job, and he'll give me another 400 for each pallet I fill after that. So if I fill the first two, it's 1,000. If I fill the other two, it's another 400 each. So he's given us the axe and the chainsaw. And of course, this is all coming from the firewood mod, which is a really cool looking mod. I have not used it before though. So let's just get this guy here. Okay. Now I am using super strength because otherwise this would be very difficult to actually do. Ah, oh, I lost so much wood there. And I've been told that this guy has an incredible range. So hopefully that will be fine. Now can I, because I'm going to lose that stump if I don't get rid of it now. Where's it gone? Where's that stump? Ah, here it is. Someone told me that you can just chainsaw the stumps and they'll go away. That does not seem to actually be working. Okay. Right. To the axe. There we go. We're filling up. So, we can obviously only do the trees in our area. I think over here behind the rocks is going to be a good place to go because there's a lot of trees. And I'm just going to have to be a bit more careful about cutting the ends off. I think, because otherwise we're going to lose a lot of wood that we could potentially turn into firewood. So, if I park right here... Let's uh, <coughs> get cracking. These are all our trees, so that's good. And this is good as well, because I didn't really want to do a load of forestry. I get quite annoyed about doing forestry. But this means we get to do some without a lot of messing around. Oh, that was not good. Now, just as a test, I want to see what happens. Oh wow, we can chop up the entire tree. Well, that's good. Uh, there should be a tree around here somewhere. Here it is. I'm going to have to come through here with the mower at some point, I think. And where's the other one? Here it is. I'm going to have to get a stump grinder later as well. Of course, cannot afford any new machinery. We have no money at all. In fact, we've just we've dropped money in the last two minutes. I don't know how. I'm really unsure how that happened. Oh, and something else that I realised that I'm going to have to fix off camera. I won't do that bit. Is that the toilet I placed is actually not the right one. It's not the one that's giving us a slurry or manure. So, I'm going to have to fix that. Because that was the entire point of it, was to give us slurry and manure. And it's not doing it. I did wonder... Uh, now, I think this is probably a little bit too big to pick up. Even on super strength, it's a little bit silly. Let's uh, log too big, please cut smaller. Okay. Not a problem. Hmm. 
very difficult to aim. Log too big, please cut smaller. Okay. So let's just move them out of the way. I, mean, I think you are supposed to cut these up quite small. Come on. Is this one still too big as well? It's got a kind of a really weird position. So that filled him up. This one is too big. again. Ah, there we go, that's better. So we are filling them up. Oh. Did I cut this? I'm sure I did. Yeah, I did. I think there's a kind of size and also distance. If it's too far away from the piles, I think it's not working very well. Which is a little odd. Come on, come on. It's just, it's very awkward. There we go, right. We're getting somewhere. <clears throat> We've got another tree over here. I will have to trim this guy a bit. Just so I can carry him. So this is a great way to get rid of all of these logs. Let's uh, chop him up a bit. I'm not sure how small or big it really needs to be. I mean, you probably wouldn't cut firewood from something as long as I'm actually cutting it right now. But... Let's see. Okay, and to the hatchet. Come on. Oh, you temperamental little guy. Is, have I got something running? Is it because of super strength? No. I cannot see a kind of a marker. There we go. Right. That's better. This guy, I'm hoping he will take it in one go, because if I cut any more off, I think the whole branch will disappear. And that is not really what I want. Oh, he took it. Good. So, we're almost halfway full on the first one. I'm planning on filling all four. He's given me four to fill. I want to fill all of them. Let's see. It seems to work better from this direction. No clue why. There we go. Right. Let's cut a couple more trees down. I will get a bunch of trees cut down actually. And once that's done, we'll get on with the logging. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, I cut down four trees. That is just four trees. Admittedly, one of them was enormous. 
So let's start hacking. I mean, there is a lot of tree here. And it's good because we are actually filling up the firewood pallets rather quickly. Where it's actually chopping is a little random. I don't really seem to have much control over where it cuts. All I'm doing is holding down the button and just hoping it swings and hits. Oh, but we filled up the first pallet. Awesome. So that means it shouldn't take that long to fill up the others. I do like the sound effect as well. It's very cool. Look at this, we're doing so well. And it's these massive, massive chunks of tree that have a big effect. See, 472 litres of tree there. But 472 litres of tree makes a lot of firewood. Okay, so first one is finished, second one's almost done, then I'd say we're about half full on these two. Time to go and get myself some more trees. I need to bring a map up though, because I have to make sure I don't cut someone else's trees. I've got plenty of stumps to grind as well. Right, I'll get some more trees. I've got two logs and, or well, two trees rather, and a big pile of logs here. I'm going to get these chopped up. I think these are going to fill it, which is why I haven't chopped these up. These we might keep for later. Maybe we'll be able to sell them and use them for, uh, to get some money. But for now, we'll just chop, chop, chop on these. This is uh, an another... This is in the pile, it's four trees, I think. Um, and on the floor we've got another two. Something a little weird did happen. I cut down one tree. I'll show you in a second. There was a tree over there. I cut it down and a tree fell, but there was still a tree standing. I cut it again. Another tree fell, but the tree was still standing. Cut it again and the tree finally came down. There were three trees in the same place. No clue how that happened. But that could also be one of the reasons why my frame rate actually suffers on this map. Every other map is fine, but on here it suffers a little. I guess that could be the reason. Right, so we filled up what the woodcutter wants, and now we've just got these two left. So we are gonna need to log this guy up a bit. Just need to drag him away from there though. It's amazing how many trees it takes to make firewood. Okay. So we've still got one left. That's good. here, close to the pallets that need filling, and we do still have that one final tree if we need it, but I'm hopeful, hopeful but not confident, that this will do it, 
we're going to be finding stumps every time. Because I want to extend the field, or make a new one. So, cleared out some space up here, but of course we're going to have to actually find all the stumps when we're uh, cultivating. Wow, still not full, okay. We need more logs. I thought this would finish it, but maybe I'll actually have to go and get some more trees as well. I don't mind, because we need to get the trees cut down so that we can expand our area. So it's not exactly a problem for me. Plus it's kind of good, because the woodcutter gave us all of the tools today, but we'll be giving them back at the end of the day. So, if we don't... If we cut down some trees using his tools, it means we've got trees basically cut down for free. Right, let's give these guys a chop. Still more. Okay, I'll go and get more trees. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Now, of course, one thing that I am completely unaware of is how much the trees, the firewood is actually worth. I have, I've invented a contract for this. So I have no clue how much the firewood is actually worth normally. But with the amount of trees it takes to go into each pallet, wow, uh, it, they must be worth a fair amount. I mean, these are really big trees that I'm putting in. Some are a bit smaller, but most of these are full grown spruce trees. And full grown spruce trees are pretty big. Look at this. Still not full. Oh, so close. Right. Come on. We're going to do this piece by piece. Oh, and um, the reason the grass field looks like it hasn't grown is a good reason. Uh, I messed up the tram lines, made a real mess of them, so I had to replant that. Right, good news is we can go and put this guy over here so he's completely out of the way because we're not going to be trying to grow anything in here. So there we go, he's out of the way. And this is now completely full, so we're going to get a thousand euros for the first two and then another 400 each for the second two now he told me that I should leave these oh my goodness the weight he told me I should just leave the trailer by the shop so we'll just leave it here this is what he told us to do drop that off and uh, We'll take this over to our little yard area, and that will be where we finish the episode, I think. Wow, this uh, weeder really needs a repair. The tractor's getting to the point where it could do with a good repair as well. And yes, in between episodes I will fix the toilet. I will just show you, very quickly, um, what the issue is. And yeah, I'll fix it so that we don't lose any money. 
Turns out that one's just decorative. Which was very silly to not notice that. There we go. So, yeah. If we have a quick look, you can see what we have is wooden toilet. Okay, all good. But if I go into misc, we've got slurry and manure. I bought the wrong one. So I think we're going to take the one that's got slurry because it's going to be easier for us to handle. <sighs> Having said that, manure spreaders are cheaper. Maybe we should take manure. I don't know, 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 I don't know. Let's go with manure. Right, I will fix that in between episodes for now. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.